Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be watercoloring backgrounds, digitally of course. So for the first one is a simple items on a table watercolor. Um, as you see in a sketch, I'm trying to get the objects on the table and their shadows in the perfect direction. This drawing was definitely my favorite between the two. I only did two this time because these drawings took a pretty long time. I believe this drawing took like about 30 minutes to an hour. One upside to this um, type of drawing is I didn't have to do line art. It just went from sketching to complete coloring, which is something that was pretty cool for me. So you have any tips, please give me some. Overall, I really did enjoy drawing this especially the apple which is something you'll see later on so truth be told with you i've never taken any a art class i've took a i believe like children art class which you normally take in like elementary school other than that never took one Now for the apple, I remember seeing somebody on TikTok using orange as their base for the apple. I can't remember their names right now, but I'll put it up if I ever see it. Overall, the apple was definitely my favorite part of the background. Um, the wine to the right, which was originally supposed to be wine, but I think I, in the end I turned into like jam was okay, I just wished I had them more time to work on it. Now when drawing or painting this, I did go back between the sketch and the art back and forth a lot. Now this was to make sure stuff was really in line and shading was really good. Now the plate was definitely the hardest part from the shading just regularly to the shading in the light which you'll see later on. Now when making the carpet, I try to give it as much texture as I could. So I mainly used the dot method. I didn't really blend in this artwork, it was just me taking the color from the original and just adding it. Which overall did pretty good. Um, I especially used this method for the shadow of the table on the floor.
overall it was a really good painting for my first one uh the second one was a little bit more challenging mainly because i was not only doing more objects was trying to give it a more creepy feel for halloween now as you notice i tend to try to map out the objects before putting it in perspective mode to give a type a more realistic corner of the room type stuff i usually tend to go for corners of the room because they're more easy to draw and you have um better understanding of the object now for this room i was going with a jail or prison type room which is you'll see why the bed is slow um the bed have like more orange type there is a candle in there which is completely throwing it off but i put bars on the window which you'll see later now for this artwork it it took a while for me to start loving it was a really trust the process type art mainly because of how close the colors were together there wasn't much variety but overall i really did like it at the end not as much as the first one i definitely have more critiques about this one than the last one but it wasn't so bad Unlike the last one, uh, there is not a big light source in this one. It's probably just a little bit of the candle and maybe a little bit from the window, but not much. Now, and also unlike the last one, the apple was my favorite because of how easy it was. This candle was my favorite because of how hard it was. Uh, actually, I was trying to replicate a candle I have in real life. This candle has like a gradient from blue to white to brown. But it's pretty hard to get down and it was just me trying to make it look good and add like the glaze of glass. Either way, it still didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. For the flame, I was a complete idiot and decided to outline it with blue first. Now this was mainly because I forgot how fire looks. I forgot how it's more blue in the middle with more reddish to the outside. So this was just me playing with colors until I eventually remembered. This is me realizing that I had way too much empty space for a wall and I just decided to add something to give the wall more story, more texture, and I just decided why not a window.
At first, I start out making the tally marks pretty big, but I will make them smaller as you'll see later on, which is right now. Um, eventually, I keep trying to do that small pattern and just make one big to the side, like someone's slowly losing their mind. Overall, I truly did have fun with this one, like really the marks and the candle. If I was to change anything, it would definitely be the coloring. I absolutely hate that. Alright, this is going to do you for my two background videos. If you have anything you want else to see, please comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.